Welcome back, long riders, to the channel. We have over 35 year, 30 years of fly fishing experience to helping to teach you a way to catch more fish. And if you're new here, make sure you click right there, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of our tying videos because we're about to put a bunch out and you ain't going to want to miss them. Now, I want to apologize if you guys seen the thumbnail and, did, and just clicked here anyway. The wings in this fly are just a bit a little long. I made this video through four times, lost the footage, ran out of the small burnt wings, so just use the big burnt wing. The idea is the same. You just want your wings the same length of the shank of the hook. But without any further ado, we're going to get to the tying video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's get to the vice. Now we debarbed the hook already and you're going to take your thread halfway down the hook and then back up towards the other half of that distance and that's where you're going to tie your wing on. Now you can head cement it if you choose to, I like to, and then let that dry all the way. Now here's where you got to give me a little wing, leeway. I'm going to measure the wing here, and that's how long your wing should be. If you're burning your wings, like I'll show you, I have an old video, you have to go back, it'll be right up in there, right up in the corner, where you can see uh, how to burn these wings. I should have used a smaller wing burner, and I used a larger one, and these wings are a little too long. But uh, this is the fourth time I made the video, so this is the reason why. I just wanted to get the, this one in the books, sorry. but And so I'll, it'll be the same, just the wings is a little bit longer, you should use a shorter wing. And if you're using foam wings, which you can do, or if you're buying pre-made foam or wings, make sure they're the, same, the length of the shank of the hook. So you're going to lay that on top, and you're going to figure eight it. And put thread wraps in front of it and behind it, and that will stand your wing up. Basically, you're just going to go in, figure eight it, like that, over top of the wing. Uh, I think I'm going to, I think I came up with a way I can just start filming from up on top, too. So that would be pretty cool. But anyway, now don't get me wrong, I said this wing's too long, but watch. I'm going to show you catching a fish with this fly. I have this fly set apart, even though the wing's too long and people are giving me a hard time about that long, long wing being too long. Watch. I'm going to catch a couple fish on this fly, so watch for that. Alright, now you're going to take a piece of hackle, dark done hackle, and you may use that for the tail. I don't know, about five or six strands of that, or fibers of that. Measure them for the length of the shank of the hook, and you're going to tie them in. Yeah, I forgot to tell you, this is a size 12 standard dry fly hook. And I know you people are going, what? There's no way. That's got to be a size 8. No, this camera is amazing. It'll zoom in even closer. You can see the dust on the hooks. So. I don't know if you've seen what I did there, but I put one thread wrap underneath the tail. And then back over top to make the tail stick up a little bit. Now, I got this like dubbing yarn. I'm not sure exactly what they call it, but it works. And I got it from E Hill, and people from this area all know E Hill's been cl closed for quite a many years. That's how I got this many years ago when I was younger. But if you could buy your dubbing on this, I, there's two, two uh, threads in there. Um, and this is a bluish gray. And you can just take one of them, unwind it, and just take one, single one, and then you want to tie that in and run your thread all the way back to the tail and then back up right behind 
your wing. Okay, now you're going to take super glue and put on there. And you're going to let it sit for just a couple seconds until it gets tacky. And this is the way I've been dubbing some of our dry flies. One to use up that material I have in there. And I'm going to look and see if I can't find it somewhere else. And it makes a really, really solid dry fly. That super glue holds that dubbing right, that thread right, or that yarn on there. And it floats great. That yarn's awesome for that. So if you can find it in there, this is a new way of dubbing, and it's easier than spinning dubbing on a thread. It's way easier to dub, and it's faster, and I can whip out flies really quick. So there, that's a new way to dub, and you learned it here. I haven't seen this anywhere else. You're only going to catch it here on this channel. So make sure you don't you subscribe so you never miss any of these techniques. Now you're going to tie in a dart done hackle and you're going to put it about three or four. I put like, I think four and three. I put an extra couple wraps when I'm using these synthetic wings um, just to keep them high and out of the water. So I put like four and three and then when you get to the eyelet, tie it off, form your head and whip finish it. long rodders i hope you liked that video um that was a great tie like i said that wing was long but i am going to fish that wing uh or that fly and you're going to see it catch a couple fish and uh, i just don't think the length of the wing when it's up on the top and the fish are coming from below is going to make that much of a difference that of how many fish you're going to catch if they make your wing a little long, if you have just big wings and they look big to you, tie it, tie that fly and take it out. Take it out with the actual wing size and take it out the long wing size. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, and I forgot to tell you um, in this video, the, that burnt wing was made out of organza, a tan organza. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what that, uh, 
that thread is I think you could use uh, yarn you could use regular uh, any kind of yarn uh, what you want to do is take like for that fly it calls for uh, me uh, uh, muskrat which is a blue grayish color or just look at uh, Adams gray that's what it calls for if you're in a dubbing block take that color take it to your uh, yarn shop and uh, find a uh, yarn that's really close to that color and just take one strand of it and it's so quick you can whip out dries like that and I did this all last year and them flies lasted forever that super glue holds that yarn on there and it just at fly after or fish after fish and, and uh, I used that way of dubbing that olive which oh I yo that video is coming. Our next video will be the lively legs video. Woohoo! I love lively legs, man. Them flies work. Our next one will be two of our favorite lively legs vi flies. So that'd be a long video, but it'll be really. Uh, and before that comes the uh, la uh, the sock videos coming up. Man, you just got to subscribe. So if you're new here and you haven't done it yet, click down in there and subscribe. You're going to have to subscribe because uh, you don't want to miss any of these videos. You really don't. And uh, like at the end of this video, you'll have a chance to check out some of our other ones. And check them out, man. Go binge watch our videos. You'll learn. You would start tying now. You'll be ready for all the hatches. We're doing the nymphs, the mergers. Everything. And you'll be well prepared if you tie all these flies in our series uh we still got a lot of flies to go so and i don't think we're going to get rained out most of this week here comes the spring showers and i work outside so we might be bam 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 posting these videos so make sure you watch it and uh you guys uh, uh, keep your uh, lines wet out of trees and only give them fish a sore lip peace see you guys later Hey, go check up these videos above me and over there. The one's just for you. This is the next video. Go check it out now, man. It's the next video you need to play. It's right, right here, right up here. Go check it out. Over there, go check that one out. You know you want to, so go do it now. Get on it. Let's do it.